In this video, we'll discuss how to use the Venue Magic Channel Router. I'm going to start with a new project, and I'm going to add a four channel dimmer. I'll add it to the timeline and to the lamp preview window. And I'll drop in a simple four channel lamp chaser. As you see, I've created a simple timeline that does a four lamp chaser. By the way, if I click this button up here, it will turn off all the lights as long as a timeline is not running. Next, I'm going to add four more sliders to the VCS. Now, go to Devices, Set Channel Routing. This is the channel routing list. Right now it's empty, so I'll click Add. From here it's very simple. Click here to set up an input. This is the Select External Control window. Take a good look at it because it pops up all over Venue Magic. This first list shows available input devices you can choose from. Just for fun, I'm going to select a MIDI device. This next list lets you select the MIDI channel. This list shows all of the available MIDI controller messages. If I had an actual MIDI console plugged in, I could move a slider and it would automatically select the right controller message for me. Since I don't have a MIDI console, we're going to use a virtual control service device instead. This second list now shows all available VCS slider groups. I'll pick group 1 because that's all there is. In this list, you can see all the sliders I just added listed by channel number, but also includes the group and channel name. I'll select the first slider and click OK. Now let's select the output channel. You may recognize this window. It shows all of the fixtures in the project folder with checkboxes. It's the same list used by the fixture control track settings, which we discussed a few videos back. I'm going to select the first channel of the four channel dimmer. Ignore routing group for now. Let's move right to merge mode. As you can see, this is the same list of merge modes we saw in the control track channel settings. You see, this dimmer channel can be controlled by a timeline and a channel route at the same time. We'll leave it at default for now, which is set to HTP somewhere else. Now I'm going to repeat all that for the other three dimmer channels. Close the channel routing window and see what happens when I move the VCS sliders. Now watch what happens when I run the timeline at the same time. You can get an idea of how they're merging. But what if I don't want to share the control of the lamps with the timeline? What if I want to override the timeline and take over total control with the sliders? You can do this by going back and changing the merge mode. We'll go to Devices, Set Up Channel Routing, and double click on the first route. You'll notice that one of the merge mode options is Override. This will give the selected external input complete control of the output channel. Now I'll do the same for the other channels. Okay, notice these two checkboxes down here. This first one turns channel routing on and off. When unchecked, all of the channel routes are ignored. 
This box controls the override function. If you have any channel routes with the merge mode set to override, this checkbox will turn all of them on and off. To make things easier, these two checkboxes are duplicated up here in the main toolbar. With override off, the sliders have no control over the dimmer channels. When I turn it on, the sliders have total control while the timeline is ignored. That's pretty much how channel routing works. We'll go into more details later in another video. The last thing I wanted to mention was the default merge mode I keep selecting. To see where the default is set, go into the Fixtures folder in the Project window and double-click on one of the fixtures. You've seen this window before. It's where we can rename fixtures and fixture channels. It also lets us set a default channel merging for each channel. Whenever you need to set up a merge mode in Venue Magic, if you select Default, this is the merge mode it will use. By the way, HTP is the default selection for this setting. That makes HTP the default of the default.